Hi guys! Today I'm reviewing the Swissmar Borner V Slicer Plus Mandolin. It comes with this V frame. The V frame has no slip rubber feet. On the back it has a grip so it's easier to hold. This is the insert without a blade. One side is for thin slicing and the other side is for thick slicing. This is the 7mm thick julienne insert and this is a 3.5mm thin julienne insert. The safety holder is what you use to hold fruits and vegetables while you're slicing. It has a comfortable grip. This is the holder for all the parts. There's an insert to tell you how to store all the parts in the box and an instruction manual in several languages. The insert without any blades, just slide in. Your hand rests on this rounded edge while slicing so it's more comfortable to hold. For storage, put the frame in first, the blades face the back, then the julienne frame, the other julienne frame, When you flip it over nothing falls out so it's safe. There are two tabs here and the holder just sits right on the tabs. The uni can be stored standing up like this or you can hang it up. The plunger on the safety holder is movable. There is a little safety latch here on the bottom. Press it down to remove the V-frame. It slides right out. To remove the two blades, push up and pull out. I've got lots of vegetables here and I'll show you how each blade works. There are arrows on both sides of the holder and the right way to use the holder is to have the arrows be vertical up and down on the sides here. Don't hold it like this. The arrow should not be going across horizontally. It should be like this. It'll be wider across and the arrows will be up and down vertical. When you use a mandolin, use the whole length of the mandolin to go up and down. I know it's easy to see the blade here and just do this right in the middle, but it's quickest and most efficient if you just go down the entire length of the frame. First, we'll try out the thin slide of the insert without the blades. It does say thin on the insert and that side will face up. Whatever side you're using will face up. Slide it in and it locks into place. This was a long cucumber and I cut it in half. With very long vegetables, make sure to cut it in half. It's easier to handle. When you first slice longer produce, you don't have to use the holder. You can just hold it with your hand. And when you get down to about half of this, we'll put it in the holder. You can see the slices, they're absolutely perfect and nice and thin. And you saw how fast that was. We'll put the rest of the cucumber into the holder. Just stick it right in. And when it gets smaller and closer to the frame, just push down the plunger slightly. I don't want the end piece, so I'm just gonna throw that out. It takes very little effort to slice this cucumber. There's hardly any pressure required. If you wanna try out the slicer, I've put a link in the description below. All the parts rinse off in water really easily. None of the parts are dishwasher safe. Now I'll thinly slice an orange. Now I'll put the holder on. Push the plunger as it gets closer to the end.
you can see very little is wasted. It gets just about all of the fruit. We wouldn't use this end piece anyway. And here's the perfectly thinly sliced orange. Now I'll take the thin insert out, just pull up and it'll slide out, turn it around. Now we'll try the thick side. See, there's the last piece. Don't ever touch the blades, they're super sharp. And here are the thick cucumber slices. Again, they're absolutely perfect. Extremely easy and extremely fast. Here's the difference between the thin slices and the thick slices. They're both absolutely perfect. If you want to get lime slices that you can put in the edge of your glass for a cocktails, just cut down, not all the way through, just halfway down. Push down the plunger. And here it is. It's perfect on a margarita glass. Another thing you can do with your fruits and vegetables is cut them down the middle and then slice them. To get nice half moons. You can go further and cut them into quarters. To get these perfect pieces for salad. So you can do several sizes just with one blade. If you want to slice a bell pepper, just cut off the top. here and perfect pepper rings. You can see each one is exactly the same thickness. It's best to hold a frame at about a 75 degree angle. Let's try carrot. I've peeled and washed my carrot. The carrots are nice thick pieces also. are hard so they require a little bit more pressure and if you hold it at a different angle you will get a different shape. The blade is very sharp. You can see it has cut through the hard carrot neatly. Vegetables like carrots will stain the frame. You can get that out with some lemon juice or rub a little bit of oil on it after you're finished using it. If you want to slice something smaller like these cute peppers, you can stick them right in the holder. You can do a few at a time for smaller vegetables and fruits. Again, you get perfect slices. Now I'll try slicing a tomato. This is still on the thick side. I'll put the blade over a container. Got our end piece here. And the tomatoes are sliced beautifully. So the blade is great even on something very soft like this tomato. This tomato was very ripe. It was not even firm and the blade did a great job. Now I'm going to do cabbage and I want the cabbage to go right in the bowl. There are two tabs here and they seem to fit on the rim of the bowl. So we'll see how that does. I've been washing the frame a few times between 
the fruits and vegetables, and is very easy to clean. Everything just rinses off. I've cut my small red cabbage in half. Now there are two things you could do with cabbage. You can just hold the half like this and slice it. And when it gets closer to the blade, use the holder. When you cut cabbage, it's best to leave the core on. So you can do half or you can quarter the cabbage, but just make sure to leave the core on. If you want to slice leafy greens or lettuces that don't really stay together, put a rubber band around the bunch and that'll make it much easier to slice. Here are thick slices of the cabbage. It's much easier to slice the cabbage this way and not facing down. And it's a little bit harder over the bowl, so I think it's best to use the frame like this on your counter at an angle. And there's half a cabbage sliced really quickly. Now we'll use the thick julienne insert. The blade faces up. Slide it in and it locks. When you're doing julienne, let's say you're doing a cucumber, just cut the cucumber into two or three pieces just like this and make sure the end is trimmed off. So you get perfect julienne pieces. We'll use the holder for this. So we got one piece here. And these are pretty perfect julienne cucumbers. Now, if you don't get a rhythm and go up and down evenly and at the same pace, you will get some thin pieces like this. After you use it a few times, you get the hang of it. With the thick julienne blade, I'll try a carrot. I've cut the carrot to fit the inside of the holder. You can get these small pieces of carrot if you put the carrot in horizontally. Now I'll try the carrot vertically. Carrot dropped off. I'll try it again. So the carrot doesn't seem to work very well. I will give it one more try with this piece. So the carrots are hard to work with. It does make a nice julienne, but it's very difficult to work with and you might have to try again two or three times to get the whole piece of carrot julienne. I'll take out the thick julienne blade and try the thin blade with the carrot. See if that works any better. And it doesn't because the carrot flew off. The julienne pieces it did make, however, are perfect. I'll put the piece back in and try again. Well, again, I think the problem is just that the carrot is very hard and it has a difficult time staying on the pin. So although you will get perfect thin julienne carrots, you will only be able to do about half. As you saw, I did try a few times unless I'm missing some trick. This is the best I can do with the carrot. With onions, you want to leave the core intact and just slice the end off. Put the onion with the root end into the holder. You can actually get chopped onions with the julienne insert. What you do is just cut the onion twice. There's the root. You can see there's very little waste and you have large pieces of chopped onion. Now let's try the thin julienne blade. Let's try chopping this onion into smaller pieces using the thin blade. Cut the end off. Just slit it on the side. And you can remove the peel. Clean up the core a little and just make sure to leave it on. Put the onion in the holder. Instead of cutting it two times, you can cut it four times. I 
I was using a lot more strength and speed and look how beautiful this is. So the trick with harder vegetables and the julienne blade is to go really fast and use a lot more pressure. Using the same thin julienne insert, I wanna try cabbage. You can see how beautiful this cabbage is. It's nice and small. This is also perfect for coleslaw. And as you saw, the more you use it, the easier it gets, the faster you can do it, and you get near perfect results. The only thing I haven't tried is a potato, and I'm gonna do this on the thick julienne insert. Potato flew off, so let me just try it again. So it might take you two tries, but here it is. Perfect julienne potatoes. These are great for french fries. Look how perfect they are. So you saw how this Borner V slicer performed. The only vegetable I had trouble with on the julienne blade is the carrot. All the other vegetables worked perfectly. There's hardly any waste of your produce. Even though it has extremely sharp blades, it's very safe to use. It's easy to clean and takes hardly any space to store. And since you leave it on your counter, you're more likely to use it. I think it's a great slicer and perfect for those who are trying to eat more vegetables, trying to eat healthier in general. You can easily make more salads and other healthy dishes. If you wanna try out this slicer, I've put a link in the description below. As always, I really hope you found this review helpful. Subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.